Oh, I love that. I love Jane McDonald. I love Jane McDonald. Good Yorkshire lass. Oh, dear. Um, so 13 weeks away from coming to see this. Are we all going to come and see it, yeah? Yeah, it's going to be amazing at the Opera House. So questions for David. First of all, I reckon. Should we, should we go and find some? If you can see the cats wandering around here, they have microphones. And if you want a question, put your hand up and they will find you. Before we go to the audience, though, we have got some questions of our own. So, Jane, what is it about the part of Grisabella that you are most excited about? I'm only on for 15 minutes. <laughs> uh... No, it isn't. It's... Um... This, sorry, this is a gift. This is a gift. Um, when you get to um, a certain time in your career, you honestly think that things are going to stop. And um, I took a, a very brave decision to move careers last year. And um, I hope the phone would ring. And thankfully, it was Andrew Lloyd Webber at the other end who said, would you like to star in Cats? So when I picked myself up off the floor, I, uh, I said, yeah, yeah, and uh, of course I said yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is an absolute dream come true, to be starring in one of the biggest musicals in the world, um, and in Blackpool. I, c I couldn't have wished for anything better. And obviously, David, for you, I mean, your career in musical theatre is so extensive, really exciting. What is it that most excites you about Cats? Um, I think it's, it's working with Andrew. You've, you've got to say that. You know, I, I grew up um, as an actor in musical theatre and, as I say, playing Joseph, auditioning for him for all of his shows. Um, and, and like Jane says, you know, when, when he phoned me up, um, having seen uh, the tour, I think it was in, in, in Landudno, and said, you know, this is fantastic. We've got to take it into the Palladium. Uh, and, and then, you know, we go to Blackpool for the summer. Uh, those calls come once in a lifetime. So to this ex-chorus boy, uh, to be working alongside Andrew Lloyd Webber, you know, literally the most famous, successful musical theatre person there will ever, ever be. Um, that's as good as it gets. I love that. A few questions that were put beforehand. Uh, where's Claire Smith? You over there? Okay, we'll get a microphone down there for you. <laughs> wow, thank you. Hey. Good morning. Uh, Good morning. Firstly, congratulations. Um, and secondly, thank you so much for taking on the role. I mean, you, you've performed in Blackpool lots, and your shows are hugely popular. Um, but, but you're used to performing on your own, so how will you prepare for a role like this with a, a full cast? I love working with a team because I, I thank you for, for obviously being at one of my shows because it is a massive production that I bring into town. But as you've probably seen, it's very much a team effort. Um, although I'm sort of in the front there, it, we're a, a, a big ensemble that work together very, very well. So for me to work with these lovely cast members who are absolutely gorgeous. Um, is, is a great joy for me. I, I prefer actually working with a team uh, than being out front because it's a bit lonely out there. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Thanks for that, Claire. Um, Robin Ross, where are you, Robin? Down there, question. Thank you. Just uh, interestingly, in the Palladium, you've got a theatre, David, where you're bringing a huge production north. Does that not throw any real logistic problems, bringing something that big? all this way, 200 miles. Well, it's not really the distance, it's, it's the shape of the theatre you're coming from and the shape of the theatre you've got to get into. Well, I've got to say, there ain't nothing wrong with this one. Um, so, <laughs> um, to be able to uh, say to you guys, um, we are truly bringing the London Palladium production to the Blackpool Opera House and mean it and be able to deliver it because the dimensions are actually better than London. So this is as good as it gets. Absolutely stunning here, isn't it? Absolutely stunning here. Um, uh, finally, for the moment, uh, Nicola from Visit Blackpool, you put a question in earlier. You're over there, are you? You had to sit in the middle, didn't you? Can you climb over? There we go. Look at that. Firstly, I just wanted to say welcome back to Blackpool, Jane. Thank you. Um, when you talk about Blackpool, you talk, always talk in a really positive way. So we just wanted to know, what, are, what do you love about Blackpool and what are your favourite things to do here? I love Blackpool because it's been like my good luck charm ever since my career started all those years ago on the cruise. I remember sat on the edge of that stage uh, with, with my own show that I brought here 
and the, the press all came in down there and they said, it's so exciting for you, isn't it? And I said, yeah, Blackpool's fantastic. I didn't realise that my album had just gone to number one. So this is a magical place for me. I, I don't know why, if you, anybody has been to my shows here, it is wild when we bring the show here. Um, there's just something about Blackpool that has a magic for me and I sincerely hope it comes, the magic that is um, this summer. I'm sure it will. This is a phenomenal production. I couldn't be more thrilled to, to be here. As I said before, it is a gift. It's just fantastic. I can't wait! I'm so <laughs> excited! Eight weeks of Blackpool! Eight weeks! And the people. It's the yeah. people as well. Proper yeah. down to earth, it's Proper brilliant. Proper down to earth. You can get a good pie up here as yeah. well. I like that. <laughs> And it doesn't cost you six quid like it does in London. <laughs> right then, so is there anyone who has a burning question for either David or Jane? Put your hand up now. If you've got that one question that you thought, I've always wanted to ask, you know, any, anything. <laughs> there we go, there's, there's somebody uh, at somebody the back, back towards waving. the middle there. She wants to know what the time okay. is. Huh? Okay. <laughs> Shoot. Hi, for this um, production in Blackpool, can you tell us what form the accompaniment will take? Will it be live musicians or will it be recorded accompaniment? Thank oh no, you. It's, uh, I can answer that one very clearly and, uh, and, and quickly. It's, uh, uh, it's a live orchestra and uh, Andrew Lloyd Webber would not have it any other way and neither would Graham Herman, I have no. to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> Graham, everyone. Yeah, Graham Herman. And every singer, every singer, every single night, every performance is singing live as well. <laughs> Quite right. Yeah. Uh, anybody else? Anybody else wanting one? If you, oh, the, oh, over there. there. Okay. Lady over there. Here we are. Look at that. Look at that cat move. Will you be recording the Blackpool production? Will you be recording it? I don't know, actually. Um, there's a possibility, I guess, that we could. Um, there haven't been any plans yet, but it depends if she's any good, really. Look at Jane's face. <laughs> We're all going downhill from here. <laughs> My agent's in the audience. <laughs> we'll have to ask Andrew. I'll ask the boss. It'll be, be a very popular album. I'm Would you sure buy a copy? Definitely. Then I'll oh, record one. <laughs> right, one more then. Go on, one more. Anybody else? Come on. You're dying to... Okay. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. Hi. I'd just like to say that I saw Cats for the very first time when it's here in 1989. So uh, it's quite nostalgic for me to come back and see us again this year. Aww, yeah, me too, I have to say, me too. And we've got one more question for this gentleman here. Thank you. Hiya. Um, my nan recall remembers seeing it when it first came to Blackpool. And will the production scale be as what it was then with all she says, she was just sat here saying the set was all at the wall, they were all crawling. Yeah, very much so. Will it be like that? As I say, the show is coming from the London Palladium, so um, that's as, as, as big a production as anyone can ever do. Um, and when it was first on in London, it was at the New London Theatre, where it ran for 21 years, closed um, in 2002 on its 21st birthday, actually. Um, and that is an 1,100-seat theatre and much, much smaller. So when it came to Blackpool for the first time, it was able to expand and get bigger and start to fill the auditorium and that's absolutely what we've been able to do and then some I have to say at the London Palladium um, so um, I, I'm going to uh, I'm going to cross my fingers here and my production team will all be cursing me but I'm going to say it's going to be better than it was in 1989 so ladies and gentlemen thank you so so much uh, for coming along today and uh, obviously we would love you to spread the word Let's make 2015 the biggest ever. So tell all 10,000 of your mates and tell them to tell their friends as well. Yeah, get it on Facebook. You know, come on. You don't speak to people anymore. Get it on Facebook. Uh, thanks very much to Jay McDonald. Thank you.